We're here in Mount Vernon, Illinois with uh, Brother Bob Dietz. And uh, Brother Bob's been a pastor. How long have you been a pastor, Brother Bob? Uh, for approximately, ever since I was 21 years old. 21. <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> now, I first got acquainted at you, with you at uh, Antioch Missionary Antioch Baptist. Baptist Church, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Antioch and the revivals that went on there and the things that happened there and your ministry at Antioch? Well, my, uh, I would say most of all that uh, it was one of my most precious churches that I pastored and the memories that I have of it. I'd like to say most of all that God has really blessed me in my life and that was really a blessing to Pastor Antioch Baptist Church. I was there for about three and a half years. We had a Brush Arbor uh, revival where it was, uh, we made a cross beside the highway on 142. And uh, we, the direction to the revival was go to the cross and turn right. It was only be held for about a week, but uh, the Spirit of God was moving so much, and many were being saved and dedicating their lives to Jesus Christ. And uh, so it went on for three weeks, which was a very good blessing that God really blessed us through that. And also, um, when I first went to Antioch, we had a, uh, what you might call an Old Brush Harbor meeting out behind the church. And through that, uh, we was there for, I would say, approximately a week and a half. And we had 72 decisions made for Jesus Christ in that period of time. So the Lord is really blessed, and he blessed us through the Antioch Baptist Church. Uh, since then, I have been to other churches, uh, Hams Grove, uh, Delafield, Second Baptist Church in McLeansboro. Uh, Hams Grove, and every one of these churches I have had a wonderful experience, and God has really blessed me through every one of them. And uh, there was a lot of uh, young men uh, that came to our church at Antioch, and uh, one of them was <laughs> yourself, Dave, <laughs> and uh, which I'm very proud of. Uh, you come a long way. And if you don't mind me saying that uh, you was a pretty confused young man and you found Jesus Christ your personal Savior and you went into the Bible study and learned uh, the Word of God, went into schools, and you accomplished many things through just your study and in your ministry uh, to God. Also, others were saved. Uh, they was... Uh, out of the ministry there at Antioch, there was three young men surrendered to the ministry, which was very good. <laughs> very, it, was a, it was a blessing. And I, I'm still being blessed. I give God all the credit, and, and He is a graceful and merciful God. And not only through the times that uh, I've been pastoring churches, but also uh, last year I was pronounced with cancer. It uh, sort of stunned me when I heard that I was uh, had cancer, but I knew the grace of God and what He could do in my life, He would take care of it. And by the love and the grace of God, I am cancer free now. Praise God for that. Uh, God's been good to me. I lost my first wife, she uh, died of ovarian cancer. And uh, that was about 12 years ago. And since then, I have uh, found a, a wonderful woman. Uh, I ran around with her brother in junior high and high school. We had good friends. Uh, went in the service together, and we were separated in service. He went to uh, uh, Fort Leonard Wood, and I was uh, in, in school at Fort Benning, Georgia. And... Uh, we was friends for a long time, and uh, when my wife died, why, he was 
there with me and helping me and sort of supporting me along a little bit. And uh, uh, I met his sister, which uh, I knew her uh, uh, years ago when she was 14 years old. And I was in junior high, and uh, I'd go to their house, and that's where we met. But uh, we had just separated and separated apart. But uh, after uh, my first wife died, uh, I met Jack again, and uh, we were married. <laughs> and God has blessed us uh, uh, immensely. And I'm now serving in a church in Delfield, Illinois, which is a small country church, but the Lord is really blessing us there. All right.